Deborah Jones here with Susan Edge of Ganold USA. Susan Ganold introduced Solvi to the embroidery world and it's never been the same. Solvi was the first water soluble topping and it's still the best. I guess that's why everyone wants to call their water soluble topping Solvi. Yeah, we've seen a lot of imitations in the embroidery industry, but no one's ever topped the Ganold Salvi. If you'd like to purchase it, you can purchase it through Ganold or one of our distributors. And you can recognize it by its characteristic waffle embossing pattern and its smooth hand. It's easy to understand why it became the most popular topping product in the industry because it's easy to remove and it, there are so many ways to use it. Oh, that's true. Some people think it's mostly used just on towels, but you can use it on any deep pile fabric to keep all the little pokies com from coming through. Uh, it's just a wonderful product. That's right. And you know, you can use it on other kinds of fabrics too. For example, it gives you nice crisp edges on small lettering on textured piquet knit shirts. When you hoop it in on top of the fabric, it also gives you a smooth surface that keeps the needle from pushing the fabric around. That's why I like to use it on t-shirts like tissue weight t-shirts that are popular today right. because it will give you uh, a surface that keeps you from pushing the fabric around. And of course, it makes a great great barrier for those oil splatters from a generously oiled machine. Yeah. Now, as far as removing it, can you give us some tips on what you think is the best way for removal? Well, of course, <clears throat> I like my spray bottle with one part fabric softener and 12 parts water because that dissolves the salvi instantly and leaves a nice fresh scent. But sometimes there are fabrics that that need salvi, like velvet, right. that don't like water. So on those, I remove the main part of the salvi by tearing it away. And then I moisten a Q-tip and just dab those small areas where the bits of salvi remain and that will remove it completely. That's a wonderful tip, Deborah. How do you like to store your salvi? That's important, I think. Yes, it is, because salvi is obviously sensitive to moisture, and it can also dry out. So you want to keep your salvi either wrapped in plastic or store it in a container with a lid until you're ready to use it. And here's a selling tip related to salvi. I keep a sample shirt in my carry bag with the salvi still attached, the whole sheet. Then I tell my customer exactly why I use it, that it gives them a cleaner edge to their lettering and their details. And that gives them a reason to buy from you. Because then you're their embroidery consultant and you've explained the process to them. So just remember, that's a great sample, but always completely remove your salvi before delivering items to your customer for a great look.